Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to animate a simple smoke animation or puff animation in After Effects using shape layers. I use this type of effect for one of my animation. As you can see, you can create lots of cool things with this cartoony style smoke effect. So let's jump into it. So we're going to create a new composition and rename the composition to puff animation. And I use 1080p. 25 frames per second hit ok and we're going to create a solid which will be our background and use a dark gray and rename it to background or bg and lock your layers so it's not going to move anywhere and we're going to create our first shape layer and we're going to use pen tool draw and I use like a white simple white color for this one and we're going to draw like a cloud so feel free to draw doesn't need to be extremely perfect because we can modify the vector points later as well so I draw roughly a cloud so make your adjustments there if you're happy with your cloud I'm going to modify the anchor point, the anchor point tool, so put it in the middle roughly. So my composition only 4 seconds long, so you don't need that, you don't need longer than 4 seconds for this animation. So we're going to create a scale animation first. So I so the end position will be one 125 which is a pretty big uh, scale position for this and hit the stopwatch for that and go to the first frame and hit zero which is like going to create a linear scale up animation which is doesn't look good at the moment but we're going to adjust the dynamics and the acceleration for the animation hit F9 for the last keyframe if you use Mac and it doesn't work for you, make sure you go to System Preferences and that box is checked. We're going to go in uh, into the MoGraph Editor and select the last keyframe and go all the way 100% um, slow down. So the last keyframe is going to slow down pretty smoothly. And I'm going to adjust the last keyframe around 21 frames. Okay, the movement looks good to me. So the first effect we're going to use is roughen edges. So grab and drag and drop it to your layer. Okay, so we're going to modify the details of this effect. For the border, I go a little bit higher, around 30%. And I modify the scale. But feel free to adjust these details as you like. But I think this setting should be fine. And hit the stopwatch for the evolution because that, that setting is going to animate the edges for us. And for the last, for the second keyframe for that one, I'm going to animate the evolution three times and stretch the animation in time to make sure the evolution is going to go like the moving edge is going to go all the time on, my, on our animation okay it's looking good at the moment so i'm going to cut the layer so ctrl shift a or command shift a on mac and duplicate the layer and I just recolor the second layer to make it more visible and delay the layer with three frames and we're going to select the second one and use in inverted matte which is going to use the orange layer as a mask as you can see now the puff animation is it's already there so the orange layer, which is delayed in time, basically just using a mask. 
so the animation looking good but as you can see on the edges the edges doesn't disappear smoothly the solution for that we're going to modify the scale for the orange layer so we make the last keyframe we modify it a little bit bigger so it's going to cover the whole thing so the disappear animation will be nice as you can see it's looking good I'm going to duplicate it because I will do a slightly different pop animation as well so I'm going to pre-comb the first one rename it to pop one pre-comb the second one rename it to pop two so I'm going to recolor the pre-comb to make it more visible and also uncheck the visibility and we're going to use the rectangle tool to mask the puff animation and hit invert it so it's going to so now it looks like it's the dust coming from the ground <coughs> and also you can lower the opacity for the dust it looks better on a, on a background if you have like a moving background this looks much better it's more realistic and for the second one we're going to go in and we're going to add the rotation settings for our two layers you can do that hold shift and hit R it's going to add the rotation animation for each one and we're going to modify the rotation for each layer and make sure you use the same settings I use 50 and for it select the last keyframe and hit F9 which is going to easy ease the last rotation keyframes so as you can see this one is a little bit different style so you can mix up the puff animation or effects you created so it doesn't look all, all of the puffs the same And also you can lower the opacity for for this one as well so this is how to create a smoke puff effects animation in after effects i hope you find this useful if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already until then see you guys in the next one